We would be talking about your experience here at the regional, not just here, but on YouTube. It would be cool if you made it into like a, a vlog, if you took pics or videos. I honestly didn't take enough pics or videos. I like, I think I took two pictures. I took I took a picture with Joe UX9 and another one with uh, with Necra, Rosemary Kelly. And that was like it. I didn't take nearly enough pictures, which I feel bad about because I definitely should have. Uh, but yeah, no, um, if I, if I took videos, next time I'll, I'll be sure to, like, record videos. I didn't bring, like, a camera with me. I had my phone camera, but I definitely have, like, uh, a handheld camera I should have brought with. My hair is doing all sorts of weird things today. There we go. Give me a second. My dog is crying and wants to be let into the room, so I'll be right back. Okay, he is now here. He can he he loves laying down right behind my chair, <laughs> which is really frustrating because I'm like, dude, come on, you can lay down literally anywhere else. Um, so Thunderous on lead is absolutely busted for this game, um, as well as Blastoise. Thunderous Blastoise doesn't seem that bad. Actually, you know, Thundy Lando is is absurd. Thundy Lando is gonna be absurd. I uh, definitely want my Blastoise though. No, you know, we're gonna go Thundy Blastoise at Lando in the back. That's probably smarter. Fundy Blastoise, Lando, and for my last Mon, uh, definitely Cali Shadow. Yeah. When you give Marcos the team and he doesn't use it, Sag. John, I already finished making the team when you sent that. I was like, okay, found it. This is the team. This is the one. Also, your Bulu doesn't have Stone Edge, so it's suboptimal. That's just the facts of life. It's suboptimal. Oh my, it's, 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 uh, it, shut up, uh, what was I gonna say, it's, uh, it's, it's Venusaur, oh no, um, let's just eerie impulse you, let's just eerily impulse him, uh, and I don't want to go hard into Lando, I, 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 maybe I just go hard into Lando, he's probably gonna want to get in his, his dude here, his, his boy dude, boy. Plant Frog. Dude, I love Venusaur. I need to make a Venusaur team, like, ASAP. Yes, Gigantamax, you fool. Oh, he's, a, he's in a friend ball. Oh, that's really cute. That's actually really cute. Now I, now I feel bad. Now I feel bad, because his friend's going to be useless in a minute. Granted, I will be taking quite a bit of damage here. Um, Non-negligible amounts of, of damage, in fact. Uh, but who knows, maybe it's like weakness policy and it has like almost no investment. Alright, uh, show me the fake tears. No, no fake tears, because you're smart, cool. G-Max Vine Lash, do 30. Thank you. Now, unfortunately, I'm, I'm going to be taking some, some pretty heavy damage here. Uh, however... Is it really that big of an issue? I would argue not really. Not really. Um, I think I'm just going to Eerie Impulse again. And I don't know if I want to just max here. I really want to max. I really, really, really want to max my Blastoise because it walls out half his team and deals way more damage than Lando. So I think my play here is just going to be to fly. Call me... Call me the Milwaukee Regionals Thunderous, because I'm just going for the raw fly. Call me a frog who's hungry, because I'm going for the fly. Call me an Incineroar switching in, because I'm going for the fly. I don't know. You'd think Venusaur being a frog would be into flies, but it just isn't. It just isn't. Aha! Now you're going to do 15% to me. Okay. Basically, my goal is make sure the Venusaur does nothing, then Dynamax my, my, my Blastoise and be, and be funny. 
Call me a thunderous, because this is too much damage. Ouch. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's got to eat this fly. I think I just go for the T-Bolt here. His Dynamax is going to end soon, and then Blastoise just comes in, and I just do my thing. Watch him be weakness policy. Watch him actually be weakness policy, and I lose. Max guard? Okay, that's fine. Call me an index finger and thumb when I'm going to pee because I'm going for the fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, that was a good one. Totally. All right, taunt. Oh, no! My thunderous. It's broken. All right. Uh, so, luckily, I mean, like, I'm not really concerned about anything anymore for the rest of my life. Um, I'm going to eat my berry here. He has, like, no real damage output versus me. It's pretty unlikely he's going to want to go for a grass move into my Thundee. Alright, let's go hard into the Stoys. And honestly, let's just... I'm just going to Rock Slide. I'd like for my Lando to go down this turn so I can get a free switch into my... Uh, into my uh, Thunderous so I can go for my funny move. Um, but sometimes you just don't get what you want. All right. He's going to withdraw the Incineroar. He's going to go Groudon. Definitely. Yes. This is what I've been waiting for. Knock out my Lando right now or I will cry. Don't sleep my Venusaur or don't sleep my Blastoise or I will cry harder. Oh, no. Oh, God. There he is. Okay. Well, that's not great. I'm going to go for this Rock Slide, though. Honestly, I'm not too concerned. Not too concerned here. Um, let's Rock Slide. Okay. Okay. All right, critical hit in the Groudon definitely mattered, definitely mattered. Landorus is gonna just barely survive, which is honestly not ideal. Um, do I burn a turn of sleep here? I think I want to burn a turn of sleep. Go for an Icy Wind, and then next turn I'm gonna try to wake up. Let's just let Landa go down. I'll attempt a, I'll attempt a Rock Slide. Honestly, a lot of their tools are gone at this point. I really need to use this Blastoise effectively, but even if I can't, I know their whole team, and none of them really like dealing with um, none of them really like dealing with Blastoise. So, Marcos, why are you lefties? Why are you suboptimal? Hmm. Think about it. Why are you playing suboptimally by not running lefties? Think about it. All right, so I'm going to lose my Lando here, which is going to be great. Your mother and I are very concerned, <laughs> as you should be. Okay. Very based hash catch him. Okay. Um, let's burn another turn here and go for an Icy Wind. And I'm actually going to go hard into my Thunder. Do I go hard into Thunderous? No, I think I just let them take the Lando. I really just need to let this Lando go down. I really hope that they, like, fake out it or something. Let the Lando go down. Thank you. All right. We just want what's best for you. The leftovers are best for me. The leftovers understand me. You guys never got me. All right. Wake up. Thank you. See, Blastoise, Blastoise has those Folgers. He's got the Folgers in his cup. My opponent now has no options for this because they... Yeah, oh no, Incineroar goes down regardless here. Everything's slower than me. I don't really care about Spirit Break because it's just the residual damage I'm aiming for here. Let's go Thundee. Let's go Thundee. Um, and honestly, in this situation, I would argue it's better to take out the Grim Snarl. I would argue it's much better to take out the Grim Snarl than, than the Incineroar here. Because Incineroar is likely just going to switch out or something. Uh, or maybe even just go for like a like a parting shot or a taunt. And I don't need to... Maybe I did. Maybe I did actually need to do my thing there. Because he will taunt me. That was actually kind of dumb. I probably should have gone for the Incineroar. I'm going to get taunted here and then I'm not going to get my... Then I'm not going to get my um my rain up next turn. Or who knows? Maybe he just goes for the Flare Butts. You could, you could just Flare Butts. I was thinking I could avoid a Spirit Break there. But honestly, the taunt is more important. Where's your answer to the Gastro Moxie? We have Seed Bomb Amoongus. 
This team doesn't have a Gastro though, so I'm fine. All right, doesn't quite one shot, but it'll go down at the end of the turn. Yeah, I definitely should have just gone for the dude. There's the spirit break. Don't taunt me or I'm going to cry a little bit. But only a little bit. Only a little bit, though. Oh, God. No. No, not like that. Okay. Um, have you tried Terrain Pulse Blastoise? No. Um, not really a big fan of Terrain Pulse as a move, to be honest. Not too fond of Terrain Pulse. Honestly, I think I win. I think I just win by virtue of the fact that, like, it's it's Groudon that's left. It's it's literally just Groudon that's, like, standing in my way. Uh, let's go for a Max Hailstorm. Actually, no, I think I go for Incineroar. Maybe I do just Hailstorm the Groudon. Uh, I definitely want to get rid of Incineroar. It makes the win con with my with my other dude a lot better. Let's go for Calyrex here. Physical defensive Calyrex is going to go crazy in a second. But you get max grass on the Stoice. That's true. But it only beats Gastrodon and it requires me to have a Rillaboom. Alright. No way you went for a dark move, right? There's no way he throat chopped me. He had the parting shot. Let's be real. Okay. That thing's down in two turns unless he's Barry. Which, you know, it wouldn't even matter if he is here. Um, and honestly, in this situation, I just go for my... I go for Astral Barrage and my Ice Move. And that'll probably do it. I think I just double the Venusaur. So I Ice Move the Venusaur and go for Astral Barrage. Because I don't drop to Groudon unless it's Shadow Claw, which I don't think it is. I, I really don't think it is. So uh, let's go for the Max Hailstorm in Astral Barrage. You could have Bulu instead. That's true. That's true, but I don't think I want to run Blastoise Bulu. It just doesn't feel right. Nice job, Stinky. Uh, I don't think that really matters too much. I was probably going to win anyways just by Blastoise walling things out. That goes down. Critical hit on Groudon. That probably mattered. Precipice Blades. I'm going to eat that. Is he Choice Band Groudon? I shouldn't be taking 50% from a P Blades on this set. Is that Choice Band Groudon? Am I, am I, am I getting banded Precipice Blades right now? Huh. All right. Oh, he is weakness policy. Glad we cleared that up. Uh, too bad he won't get to use it. Alright, and he's in range. I hope you guys are thirsty. He protected it, isn't? Oh, okay. So I guess I do just take that much. I don't know. I'm used to these things being burned, you know? Yeah, it could be soft sand. All right, that's a win. There's the Incineroar. I don't know, guys. Do you think he drops to Hydro Cannon? Kind of iffy. A little iffy here. You guys think I? You guys think he drops? You guys think he drops? I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt it. I'm gonna go for the substitute Hydro Cannon. Mostly because I just like clicking Hydro Cannon, and it'd be great for the thumbnail. You know what? Side Will-O-Wisp. <laughs> Screw it, let's side Will-O-Wisp. Aw, alright, that's no fun. That's no fun. Alright, thoughts on Ultra Necrozma? Doesn't exist. Isn't that fun? Let me see, insights, uh, achievements. Let's take a look at this real quick, hold on. Yup, mm-hmm. Uh, thanks for applying to be a Twitch partner. Your partnership is currently being reviewed. I sent it in May or April, actually. I think it was April. 
Anyway, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Definitely not mad. Uh, this is an NDM team with Cure. Did this, was this at, um, this one might have been at Milwaukee. I think this one was at Milwaukee. I might be wrong, though. Regardless. Regardless, I think Thunderous Blastoise isn't bad. Actually, Thunderous Zacian is perfectly fine. Mm, no, Thunderous Blastoise. Thunderous Blastoise, um... Calyrex. Among Us. Do I go Among Us? Or Zacian? I think it goes Zacian. I suppose I could also just lead off Calyrex. Nah, let's go Zacian. Let's go. Let's just go. Let's just go Blastoise Thunders on lead. It's from Japan Nats, but don't quote me on that. That's where I saw it. Is there a better Pokemon design than Naganadel? Uh, uh, Nihiligo, Buzzwool, Kartana, and that's just Ultra Beasts. Um, the peak Pokemon design is objectively Muck. I absolutely love Muck. Just regular Muck. That's peak design. Okay, cool. They did go Talonflame. They did go Talonflame. They did indeed go with the flame. In my professional opinion, my play is quite obvious. Trivial, even. I Eerie Impulse the Curum and Annihilate the Talonflame. A trivial play, possibly. And why do I do this? Because what is he gonna do about it? You only say that because Muck spelled backwards? What what's Muck spelled back? I've never I don't know what you're referring to. I don't know what you're referring to. I don't know how to spell, in fact. Alright. They're gonna withdraw the talent flame, and they're gonna send out Necrozma. Honestly, that's amazing for me. Not for them. Not for them. They're just gonna go for the raw freeze dryer here, right? Yeah, they're going for the raw freeze dry, which means they forfeited their right to an Acrosma. <laughs> it's quite trivial and left an exercise for the reader. Thank you, Zenconic, fellow physics major. Fellow physics major. Quite trivial, yes. Uh, and you definitely know how to do it and you won't look it up. Hear him use protect? Honestly, cool with that. Pretty cool with that. Because I think I just repeat my turn. Again. Like, you know, easy. Two Restricteds versus a buff guy and a turtle, who wins? My money's on the turtle. Ooh, but this brings up a very good question. Do I Rain Dance? And the answer to that is no. <laughs> no, why would you ask that? This is gonna KO. There we go. Uh, that might be in range of one. It, it's gonna be a roll. I just cannonade again. Withdrawing the Necrozma, a bold move. Tapu Fini, the Rank Master. What? That's insane. Please Dynamax your dude. That'd be really funny. I don't know why you're doing this. Uh, probably just to get rid of my Thundee, but honestly, I think at this point, I'm like in a really good position. Also, thank you so much for the follow, uh, Bagel. Bagel, thank you so much for the follow. And everyone else that followed so far. Sorry, I'm really bad at keeping up with follows. Here you impulse. Aha, now your max hailstorm will only KO me one time over instead of three. Bye, Thundee. This is just proof I'm the best EV maker in the entire game. This is just like straight up definitive proof. And if you're if you if you don't believe me, you're a liar. You're just a liar at this point, honestly. Like you know. This, however, will be doing about ten percent. Okay, maybe more. Maybe more. All right. Billy beats you, dude. Welcome to the stream. Alright. 
So Kira, I mean, look, it, the Kira has uh, essentially wasted its time on the field. It is not doing much. What number are you standing currently in max rank? Uh, I think I was 1800 before I started this match. So 1800. Um, do I want to keep my Thundee for later? I really don't think I need to, to be honest. I really don't think I need to. I think I just want to go for another Eerie Impulse. Let's just candidate again. Why not? Why not? Why not? He's not going to switch. I'm just going for damage here because I don't want to switch into anything because if Kyurem if Kyurem crits me on the switch in, like I just lose a Mon. So it's just not worth it. Have a good day loving the content. Hey, thank you. All right. Yeah, I mean, the, the Curum is basically forfeited. Um, Finny might be AV. I don't think we saw lefties. Oh, heal pulse. Okay, that definitely matters. I, as, as though I'm not going to behemoth blade it this turn. As though he is not about to be behemoth bladed. I could even... I could even go Calyrex here and just start picking up KOs. That's not a bad idea, actually. If I go Cali here, I likely... I'm not going to pick up a KO on Finny here, but I'm not going to get KO'd by anything either. So I think I just go Cali. Alright. Yeah, I mean, we just go for Astro Barrage here, and uh, might as well Icy Wind. It's not like Hydro Cannon's too productive. And yeah, we did see Leftovers in the Finny, so I just wasn't paying attention that turn. They have to crit me to KO me with anything at this point. And Finny's recovery isn't outpacing the damage it's taking. Also, I, we did like more than 50% to the Necrozma in the back. And there's no way that Talonflame takes both these hits. So basically, once this Kurum's Dynamax is over, I think I just sweep. Oh, he's sacrificing something here. Like, yeah, he's sacrificing the Necrozma, which I super, super disagree with. Um, it's just going to make it easier to to sweep now, because I'm going to get plus one. Thank you for the follow. Uh, displeasing and Tom, thank you. As well as Florian. Alright, there's the Max Quake. It's going to bounce off of me due to the fact he's at minus 4. Well, it bounces off about as much as a Cura move can bounce off, let's be real. Alright, Icy Wind. Uh, and I'm a pretty physically defensive uh, Calyrex Shadow. So even if the Town Flame comes in, I'm not going to get picked off by like a Flare Blitz or a Brave Bird. And it's more likely than not they just want to go for their Tailwind. Yep, there's the Town Flame. Uh, it's in range. I'm just going to say that right now. It's in range. That's... Summary. Summary. It's in range. Let's go for the Astro Barrage. Uh, might as well just Icy Wind again. One would imagine they get in the Finny here and just Tailwind, so they might be able to sweep Lakeen with Kirim, but it's not going to work out. Alright, whoever voted for the Phantom in the mob vote, I am pretty upset. I was ganged up by like five of them and almost died in my hardcore world. The fact that I, like, you can just hop into... Minecraft is such a like well-known game by everyone in the world. The fact that you can just hop into a Pokemon stream and I know exactly what you're talking about is just absurd. Alright, Tailwind. My dog's yawning. Astro Barrage, that's gonna pick up on this guy, unless he's Sash, but, you know, Icy Wind will do the rest then. Yeah, I get it to a KO. I'm gonna say I win this. Jesse Cast, or Jesse Cat, thank you so much for the follow. Grimne. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill you guys in on something. Whenever I make a VGC team, you'll notice that I'm not good at playing Hyper Offense. I'm really good at playing, like, I guess the best way to put it is, like, Damage Denial. 
I really like pivoting Intimidates, I really love screens, and I love clicking Snarl. If you ever see a team with a lot of that, it's it's probably like one of my teams, especially if there's something dumb on it. Like a Thievul or a Golisopod. That's just like, yeah, no, that's that's one of Marcus's teams. <laughs> okay. Uh, and we just go for Icy Wind here. Again. So stall? Not really. I mean, I play offensive. Like, there's a, there's has to be like a switch, you know? So like, you play damage denial and then switch. And then as soon as like, they're done. That's especially good in this format. Like, when their Dynamax is gone and you can just, you know, turn on your Dynamax and counter sweep. Like, that's, that's what I like to do. Yeah, control. But control is pretty much dead in this format. Like, Dynamax like absolutely made control like so so bad so you have to play it in like a less controlly way because control almost necessitates gothitelle or mega gengar but mega gengar is in the game or isn't in the game and gothitelle is isn't isn't nearly as reliable let's check that out all right yeah um Honestly, instead of knockoff, I would go Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb's so good on Mianxiao. Then you can win. Like that's usually how it works. The only the only Pokemon that sort of like that sort of like ruin that are, are like Colossal and stuff with residual damage. Also, Sora, I, I believe we just faced you. Good game, dude, and thank you for the sub. Also, we're facing Yveldon. If I could, Sora, can I use your your Reshiram team or not Reshiram? Your your Kiram White team, real quick for this matchup specifically, because I really hate this matchup. All right, uh, we're going to go Thundee on lead with Blastoise. We definitely want Lando in the back, and I'm going to say Calyrex. We played a pretty similar game recently. Wasn't ready for that lead. Uh, oh, what did I lead? I think I lit off Blastoise Thundee like I usually do with this team. But yeah, no, uh, Blastoise Thundee is super reliable. This is the Milwaukee team. Oh, oh, this is the, this is the champion team. Okay, then I know what it does. Then I know what it does. Venusaur Yveltal. I believe it was Black Glasses Yveltal. Maybe I don't know what it does. Maybe I'm stupid. <laughs> Maybe I'm stupid. Okay. Uh, point is... Point is, I think we always want an Eerie Impulse here. And we're going to go Hard Lando. Dude, I miss Black Glasses knockoff Yveltal. That was one of my favorite Pokemon to run in 2019. Just clicking knockoff and doing like 60% to Kyogre. That was fun. Obviously, you know, it got worse when when Ultra Series rolled around and Kyogre could hold like the, the blue orb and the knockoff wasn't nearly as potent, but it was still fun. Alright, that's definitely the Venusaur. Oh, it's Evelto. Okay. Um, I'm going to get sleep powdered. Maybe they thought it was, like, Defiant Thundee, and that's why they did that. Helping hand? Okay. Okay, who's getting KO'd? I can't Eerie Impulse that thing. That's, that's my biggest issue. I can't Eerie Impulse it. Because it's Dark Type and I'm Prankster. Max Flare. Um... I mean, I can live with that. Let's go for the KO. Let's go for the KO on this Venusaur. I forget if it's Sash or whatever, um, but I'm just going to hope it isn't. I'm going to Rain Dance and Max Airstream. What are some of your favorite shiny Pokemon? Shiny Glycepod's one. Uh big fan of shiny scissor because you know scissor cuts so i can name him el chapo but if he's shiny he's green so now he's el chapo verde and that's really fun helping hand venu venusaur doesn't even have hands yeah when venusaur uses it we should just rename it like benevolent bulb Let's just call it that benevolent bulb venusaur Actually, it doesn't have a bulb. It's bloomed. I don't know, man. Faithful Flower? Okay, it wasn't Sash. I think I just win now.
Here's the airstream. Uh, but I am faster, which is nice. That shouldn't KO me, yeah. Very nice. Okay, this is a false copy of the Milwaukee team. Makes sense, then. Evelto isn't Life Orb, nor did it have coverage. Yeah, it's, it's probably just... I mean, like... To be fair, Groudon, Eveltal with, like, Venusaur in, in Bronzong is a pretty established core. Or, like, a pretty established, like, group of Pokemon. I don't know, I don't know if I would call it, like, a straight-up core, but... I, maybe they didn't even, like, look at the Milwaukee team. Maybe they just said, yeah, I want to run this. Okay. Uh, do I need the rain? I think I do. Let's just rain dance again. Let's just rain dance again and max airstream you. Yeah, because I brought I brought my Calyrex Shadow in the back, so I need to make sure I deal with the Veltal first. Zong is totally common. It's like one of the few ways that Groudon and Veltal can deal with Calyrex Ice. All right. Uh, after Dynamax, that should be in range of Airstream, I believe. There's the darkness. Finally, KOing my Thundee. Finally. Somebody goes for bulk up. Maybe it's bulk up. Got my white herb. Nice. I honestly forgot. Swords dance. All right. My my next turn is very easy. My next turn is very easy for me. I literally just go for Airstream into the Veltal and click my Hydro Cannon to one-shot this Groudon. Because if you went for Swords Dance, he's not AV, which means there's no way he takes this in the rain. Joe used Bronzong in the start of Series 12, then it kind of fell off, and then just ball again. Yeah, I mean, like, Bronzong is objectively good for the for the archetype. I don't know. I don't know why anyone would pass it up, to be honest. All right. Oh, he's got Protect. Look at this guy. That's fine. This is still going to do a chunk. And it's not like I can't just Swords Dance. It's not like I can't just sword stance here and I'm like in a better position than before. Cause he's definitely gonna fake out my um He's definitely gonna fake out my Blastoise. Did you see that slow bro body press set though? Yeah, that was a there was an Eastern tournament that had that. I forget which one though. It was very recent, like a couple days ago. Will Garchomp be good again when Dynamax is gone? Garchomp isn't even necessarily bad. It's just like Zacian exists. <laughs> it's just that Zacian exists, in my opinion. All right. Do I get KO'd by Shadow Claw? Is that your set? Respice Blades? Blastus is going to dodge. I command it. No? He can tank it, though. He can handle it. Oh, he can't. Jeez. <laughs> sure, yeah. Uh, that. That. That happened. Milan, that's where it was. Okay. Um. Oh, Groudon hasn't taken too much damage. I think my play here is just going to be like Will O Wisp Rock Slide. Ooh, this is tough. This is tough. Do I Will O Wisp in, in, in uh, Sword Stance again? That might be my play. That, that could possibly be the play here. Let's do it. Withdraws the Incineroar. I Swords Dance again, because I'm crazy. Dude, I dare you to protect your Grout on here. I dare you. Actually, no, I don't. Please don't. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. I Swords Dance again. We're good. Because the Veltal is totally in range. Now the question is if it's running Sucker Punch, which I don't really feel like finding out. I'm just going to go for a sub. And I'm at plus two attack, right? I'm at plus three, but I I'm at plus two functionally since I'm about to get intimidated. So let's just Rock Slide. Actually, do I Willow Wisp and Rock Slide? I think I Willow Wisp and Rock Slide in case they don't go Incineroar here. 
Yeah, nice. Rock slide. Picks it up on Yveltal. If I land this Will O Wisp, I just win, I think. Nice, okay. Probably not Lum, and it wouldn't matter because Callie's in the field, so. Rock slide, that's not going to do much because you're just at plus two and you're at neutral now, so. Do you like chess? I've been trying to get into it. I've been trying to get into it. Though I'll admit, I'm not the best at it. All right. Um, I'd say my play here is just substitute Earthquake. Because regardless of who he fakes out, I'm just fine. No, that doesn't make sense. I just kind of have to Earthquake raw, don't I? Let's go for Astrobrush Fly, because it's funny. No, no, I, I, go for, I go for Astrobrush Earthquake, because that KOs both. Even if he protects here, like, I'm going to end up winning. Yeah, because that Astrobrush is going to put, like, Groudon definitely in range of Earthquake, and Groudon shouldn't be able to KO me from this range. Pokemon's like 3D chess, effectively, yeah. Pokemon is 3D chess with time travel. Swords dance, okay, but you're just gonna get Earthquake. So. Evan, thank you so much for the sub. And my my Cali definitely eats an Earthquake at plus two. So I just do this. Queens are broken. I hate playing restricted format. <laughs> oh, dude, we need to we need to play restricted chess where you have two queens. That'd be so funny. Critical hidden and center didn't matter. All right, sick. Very clean win there, in my opinion.